Hey YouTubers, this is Andy. Have you ever tried or even thought about bleeding your own brakes but didn't do it because you thought it was a hassle? I know in the past I sure did. It was always hard to get somebody to come along at the right time to sit in the car, pump the brakes while I'm releasing the valve and getting the air out. With speed bleeders, you don't need that extra pair of hands. You can do it yourself fairly quickly and it's easy. Let me show you how. Okay, here are the things you're going to need. Brake fluid, pair of speed bleeders, a wrench to loosen the valve and tighten it, and something to put the old fluid in. I used an old uh, fuel injection cleaner bottle and some tubing I found and just zip tied it to the top. This way I can attach it to the valve, pump it into here. When it's filled I can unscrew this and dump it into something else for disposal. That's really all you need. But to make the job easier and to make it easier for you to see what's going on, I'm going to take the wheels off the car. Let's get started. Okay, this is the passenger rear wheel in this particular car, being the 2002 Liberty. They were drum brakes, but whether it's a drum or disc really doesn't matter. It's the same process. Here's the old bleeder. We're going to take it out, just unscrew it, and we'll screw in the new one and snug it up. Once I do that, I'll be right back. Okay, there we've got the new one in and tightened up. Now I'm going to attach this hose I showed you earlier. It goes over the nipple like that. It's a good secure connection. It's not going anywhere. It's hard for me to show you the, the tubing and the bottle, but it is down here as well. Let me see if I can maneuver this camera so that you can see it. And there's the bottle. So at this point, all I'm going to do, position this so that you can see the tubing, as it, the fluid as it comes out. I'm going to loosen the valve. And as I loosen the valve, I'm going to go into the car and start pumping it. You'll see the old fluid come out. You don't have to release it a lot. That should be enough. Now we'll start pumping. As you can see, the old fluid is coming out, and I'll start putting in the new fluid once we drain the reservoir down a bit. And we started with the right rear wheel, which has the longest brake line. So typically, you would start from the right rear, left rear, right front, left front, because of the length of the brake lines. As you're pumping it, periodically check your reservoir to make sure that you don't bleed it dry. You want to get it low, but not empty. Okay, when you're satisfied that the new fluid is coming out and looks like this, then just snug up that fitting. Doesn't have to be tight, just snug. There, that's good. And that's all we need. Now we'll go to the left rear wheel. This is about how much we got, how much we got out of there. I like this particular bottle because it also measures it. So there's about eight ounces of fluid right there. This is the left rear wheel. I've already changed the bleeder out. Now I'm going to open it up and begin pumping. Okay, it shouldn't take near as long to bleed this side because we've already pretty much cleaned out the reservoir. We're just bleeding out what's in the line itself. So as you can see, we're already getting straw color out of that. So now we'll tighten this back up. Be sure to use your little rubber crank caps that come with your bleeders to plug up the line just to keep dirt and trash out of the end of it. Let's go to the right front now. Now we're down to the right front. I've replaced the bleeder. I'm going to loosen it just a bit after I put this tubing on the end of it. That should be enough. Now we'll give it a few pumps to clear the line. Okay, and with this application it was even more important because on the front end we rebuilt the front end of the car, put new front brakes on it, new front brake lines, so there was a lot of air in the system. Tightening it up. And so far we've drained out a total of about 12 ounces. OK, 
Okay, let's go to the left front wheel and that should finish it up. Okay, the last wheel. We've just installed the speed bleeder. Now we just need to back it off. We've already attached the tubing. That should be adequate. Okay, now you can see we've got good clear fluid coming out through this port. So we're going to close it up and refill the reservoir and we're done. Okay guys, that was it. Uh, it took me more time to put the Jeep up on stands with the jack and get the wheels off than it took to actually bleed the brakes. Now the brand I used was Dorman. Uh, you can get Russell or Dorman, whichever. Uh, I found that Dorman works just as good and in most cases they're less expensive. Just go to the Russell website and uh, look up your part numbers, uh, Dorman's site, do the same, cross-reference it, come up with what you need for your application. This particular uh, bottle I use, this was Lucas uh, Fuel Injection Cleaner, which I like to use anyway, but I like their bottle because it's incremented here in ounces on the side. So not only as I'm putting the gas treatment into my in, uh, gas tank, I know what I'm doing uh, volume-wise, but for this application, squirting out the uh, brake fluid, I can keep up with the volume that I took out, and it's about 14 ounces of fluid. That's why that small bottle of fluid on the uh, shelf at the auto parts store just isn't enough. Get the big bottle, uh, because you can always fill it up and top it off later. And once you've got the speed bleeders installed, in a year or two, if your brake fluid starts getting dirty, it's, time, it's contaminated, it's time to change it out, flushing it is not a problem. Get you another bottle of fluid, get your reservoir to put the trash into, and spend about 30 minutes to an hour and you can bleed your own brakes. That's all I've got for today. I appreciate you tuning in and watching. If it was helpful at all, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe. We've got more videos coming on uh, different types of maintenance and upgrades. We're getting ready to start a project on a 95 Cheyenne truck where we're going to go through the complete suspension. We're going to lower it. Uh, we're going to put sway bars. We're going to rebuild the steering box. We're going to put in a new engine and transmission. We're going to go completely through it. It's going to be sweet. So stay tuned and come back and watch us again.